Hello my lovely humans, welcome back to the Crimson Inn with Amber. As promised, I did say I would do a DS video for you, showing you how to run Nintendo DS games natively on the actual Wii U. Well guess what? I have it running, I have it perfectly done, and I'm going to show you in details, sp precise details on how to get these systems, I'm sorry, this emulator running these games on this system at full speed, great audio, and guess what? The stylus works on every game. So now you don't have to do any kind of special conversions, but the stylus works on every game. As you can see in the background, the couple of games that the stylus didn't work on or some of the games didn't run properly, I did put those right here in the intro to show you that this emulator is running these specific games perfectly fine. So let's go from there. And again, like the video, subscribe if it's your first time here and leave me comments you guys and like you are so scared to talk to me you never leave me comments okay leave me comments i reply to everyone let's go ahead and get the video started bye to my lovely humans and i'll see you at the end of the video also read the two disclosures in the beginning of the video so you don't have questions that i've already answered okay this is all i got for you i'll be uh right back <laughs> so let's go Alright gentlemen, and the reason I say gentlemen because it looks like 100% of my followers are men. I used to have two young ladies that used to follow me, but I guess they must have unsubscribed to me because according to YouTube's algorithm, there's only guys. Well, guys, thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for supporting these mods. And let's get straight into it. So the first thing I want you guys to do is I want you to put your SD card back into the actual PC and we're gonna do a couple of things on the on the actual memory cord to start to set this up for you a little bit so the first thing I want you to do let me see if I can make these folders a little bit larger so the first thing I want you to do you can have your Wii U folder and this is the root of the folder and again I apologize for my accent but it's root now I hope I see it right um, so the first thing I want you to do is once you go into that apps folder, so I'm going to under root, go to the main apps folder. And I want you to create uh, a folder here. And this is the folder that I want you to actually create. And I want to make sure that I should tell you the right one. Oh, I'm so wrong. So no. So you're going to go into the Wii U folder and then into the apps folder. And I want you to create this folder here. And I want you to put a capital N two O's and a capital DS or induced DS. The reason I want to do that because this is where you're going to place the file that you're going to get from the website. So once you do that, I want you to go back to the root of the folder and I want you to create a games folder. Once you create a folder that says games, go into it, create another folder with a capital NDS. So now what you put that in there in the capital letters NDS. And I hope I'm not going too fast, but I don't want this tutorial to be too long because it's so simple of what I'm showing you. Once you do that, place inside this folder the games that you actually want to play on your Nintendo DS on the actual Wii U. And the reason I tell you that is because these, make sure your, your games what, for folders are in NDS format. So that just means you want it in uh, Nintendo DS format. So you just want the regular wrong files in that file size, in that file format, because that's going to instantly boot up when you get the actual emulator on the system, which we're going to show you that later as well. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go, and I'm going to put the link in here. It's on the GitHub. I'm going to put that on here. You want to go over here to where it says rolling releases. They do have a nightly releases, so you can always update this anytime you want to. And you want to scroll down to the Nintendo Wii U version zip file. And you just want to download that. And as you can see, it's a very small file. Then you want to come over here. You want to get that file. You want to right click it, properties, and extract it. Once you extract it, you want to take this file, this NODS WHB, and make that a little bit larger too. 
So you want to take this bow, and I'm sorry, I, it should be big on my screen. I'm not big on mine right now. Um, and then you want to take that back to the root of the actual um, Wii U folder, and you want to go back to Wii U apps, the new DS folder you just created, and you just want to drag this over into this folder. Now mine already has the save files, the states I've already created, and the configuration and the cheats. So you don't have to do any of that. Make sure this folder is empty and the only file that you put in here is this endo.if file. This stuff will create itself once you get into the actual Wii U. Once you do that, go back to the root, make sure you have your games in the games folders and that is pretty much it. At that point, just go ahead and eject your uh, SD card out of the system and we're gonna go over to the Wii U right now to do the rest of it so I can show you the rest of it. All right, gentlemen, um, welcome back to the next part. So this is what we're gonna do next. So um, before I go into the actual app, I wanna show you the old way that you had to do DS games. You always have to convert them using certain formats to make it to a, like a virtual console to be able to get your games on here. You no longer have to use that UV, UV something, WC something, DCI, whatever. You don't have to use that anymore. Now you can natively, just like I did the Wii U app, I'm sorry, the N64 apps, uh, you can actually uh, run these games natively. I hope they actually do the same thing to the GameCube where we don't have to convert those either. But for right now, I do like the fact that you can run them natively now. So before I go in here, I'm going to switch off my Astro Pro controller and go to the Astro Wii U remote to this next part. And I'm going to boot up New DS and it normally boots up in like a couple of seconds. So you don't have to worry about it like taking forever to boot up. And I just want you to go ahead and change a few settings before we begin. So when you first boot it up, it's on the actual root of the SD card. So that's why I told you to make your games folder. So even here, here are the games already available. And you can see I got Ghost Trick in there, which is one of the one of the games that had the status didn't work with. Uh, Oka Median, which I'm going to show you that one first. And I'm a Pokemon game, so I'm at the start over. We cut the saves and not in the same place. Um, but I want you to press the X button right here. And I want you to change a few settings. So the first thing I want you to do, I want you to say direct boot on, keep the ROM and RAM off, frame limiter on, off, on the show frame counter, whatever theme you want it to be on. Now the graphic settings, I want you to do two frames, threaded 2D on, threaded 3D, also two threads, so you can use both threads, at a, uh, more than one thread on the actual system. High resolution 3D off, a simulating ghost off, or simulation, a simulate go scene off. Now the audio, this is the tricky part. Because one of the things about this game, even though it will, I mean this emulator, it will run the games at full speed. In the beginning of each boot of the game, since it is trying to run the, the boot the game out at one time, the audio will delay or crackle or slow down right in the beginning. But as you play the game, maybe 30 min 30 seconds to a minute into the game, maybe two minutes into it, depending on what game you play, the audio will instantly catch up and it will just play like normal throughout the rest of the game. So you want to do audio emulation on, 16-bit audio output completely off, turn that off. But that's like the handheld audio, you want to play like this on an actual console, so turn that off. Um, the experimental settings turn both of these off. The only do is crash the, the, the app every single time. Uh, separate saves folder, I'm gonna put on. Separate cheese folder, I'm mean, a saves folder, yes. Separate cheese folder, yes. And then on the, on the screen layout, this is something I want you to pay attention to. First position, center. You want everything in the center of the screen. Or you can just do top, bottom, left, right. I'm gonna put center. Screen rotation, none. You do not want it to go up and down like the normal DS does. Screen ar ar arrangement, you want a horizontal side by side screens. Screen size, you want even. Uh, do you want a gap? No, I know you would get my screens together. And do you want a filter? I do mine linear. There are other options on here, including upscaling. But I just want to use linear because I don't want to eat up too much memory trying to upscale the graphics. Uh, the aspect ratio, keep it a default. The inter scale, integer scale, you want that off. And also the Game Boy crop, you want on. You don't have to have this on. I can actually turn that off as well if I wanted to. 
Um, I really don't know what the difference is in. Let's see what the difference in this is. So first thing I'm gonna push the B button, go back. And the first thing I wanna do is go back and boot up um, Oka Meaden, which is actually one of the games where the stylus did not work. I do have brand new styluses for my uh, Wii U touchpad. So if you have guys who ever want the original stylus that go to the Wii Pad, you lost them on the Wii U Pad, get it from Amazon. You can get a whole pack of about 10 of these things for like $4. Um, and they're, they're the exact ones that fit into the top of the controller. So I have a whole pack of them for backup. So let's go ahead and boot this game up. And as you can see, it boots up instantly. I mean, there's no wait time, no delay, no lag. It boots up instantly. Um, I'm gonna touch the screen. Works just fine. Like I said, the touch screen works perfectly fine on here. Uh, I'm gonna skip do a bunch of things real quick just so I can get to the point. Uh, you're gonna hear here, I can't talk. You're gonna hear a lot of uh, delay in audio. And the reason it's doing that because it's booting up all at once. Normally it would go a lot faster than what I'm doing right now. But I'm personally delaying it uh, on purpose. Oh, and if you want to go back to the settings mid-game, all you do is press the actual R1 button and you can always go back and you can change settings so you can actually see how you want things to be altered as you go. Remember what I said about this? Let's turn that off and then go back. And I want to see exactly how it's going to look. See, doesn't look any different. So let's go ahead and we're going to skip all these intro. I want to get to some of the touch part of it so you can actually see with your own two eyes. Uh, or everything that I want to show you. I'm just constantly pressing the back button, which is the select button. Um, which is the minus button, I mean. Uh, so we just skipping all this, skipping all the talking. And getting straight to it. And like I said, you'll be able to hear the audio. I'm not going to have it too loud, but you, you should be able to hear it enough to where, um, come on, let's skip all this. Come on. I'm just touching the screen right now. All right. And Y B, yeah, let's go. And as you can see, the game is run perfect. I know, I'm falling. Okay. And as you can see, the games run absolutely flawless. I'm gonna these remote because it's absolutely plus to my microphone. I mean, the headphones. And it's, the music on this is so loud. Come on, get him, get him, get him. And as you can see, it runs flawlessly. There's no delay, no lag. And as you can see, the music, the audio is already caught up too. Now, um, let's skip this part because this is the part I wanted to get to about the touch screen part of it. Um, see right here, it says, hey, I want you to do a... Um, what does it say? A circle in the sky? Draw a circle. So as you do that, you're going to pull the right trigger. There's a touchpad, and I'm just going to draw a circle. The one thing I don't like about this, you have to wait to the countdown. But if you try to back out of it before the countdown, get to keep making you start it over. So um, I don't like that. Oh, but you know what? Let me do something. No, I'm going to keep it that way. That's a perfect circle. And as you see, the stylus actually works. Okay, now, did it do it? And it did it perfectly. And like I say, everything works perfectly fine with the stylus. So you don't have to worry about anything of that nature. And that's one thing I wanted to show you guys. Oh, shit, bro, what? What did it do? It was in a big circle. Okay. Oh, he's forgetting. Don't push that. Push the A button. Let's take our wait for the countdown. I don't like the fact you have to wait for the countdown. It's kind of annoying. I think that one was big enough. Yep, that was bacon though. And as you can see, the stylus actually works like it's supposed to. Now, the reason I'm showing you these two specific games is because um, 
One of the gentlemen who actually sent me a message said these were two when you try to convert them with that other program, the stylus does not work for either one of them. So let's go ahead and we're going to go to the next game. So give me one second. All right, so next up is going to be Ghost Trick. And I want to show you that next so I can show you what's going to go on. And hopefully, I'll let me skip a lot of it. Um, I know this game is very slow paced. I was playing it earlier on the actual PC uh, just to see how it was going to turn out as well. And this is so, what's that word I'm trying to say? Slow paced. At least I don't think I know her. And I was playing this game a lot earlier. I got pretty far of it on the emulator. Then find out I got had to get to a save point, which takes forever to get to the save point. That's why a lot of times I try not to play games like this because they do take a lot of time. But I would love to stream this. It's so I'm already dead myself. Don't know why he fell down with his cheeks up in the air. That don't mean nothing. All right, so let's get to a part where I have to use this stylus. So long, sister. But what can I do? I'm dead. Come on. This game is so slow paced. There we go. But the what? The whole world just changed. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. And I'm going to show you right now, whenever I skip through all this, if the stylus actually works. Yes, I'll see the soul. Yes, I do that. Hmm. It was like a real gate. Let's try something. So touch the thumb. And move it. See that? The stylus works no problem. So I can cross the gate. Yes, but now what? It pulls the trigger, the woman dies right. And then you can stop. Okay, wait a second, I still know what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, you'll see, you'll see. All right. So now I do the trick. And I'm still doing the test screen. So as you can see, even Ghost Trick works. So for everybody who's been wondering, uh, I'm looking back to the main menu. And all you want to do here, you want to go to settings. And I'm sorry, you don't go to settings. <laughs> you're going to go to file browser and then you're just going to push the plus sign and it'll take you back to the Wii U menu. But as you can see, the slightest actually works with this emulator. Everything runs full speed like it's supposed to. Um, and you don't have to do any conversions anymore. You just put your games on a folder and they instantly work. So I hope you guys appreciate that. And, and like I said, it's so simple, so easy, and it's so much easier than normal. And I like the fact that you can actually do that. So y'all have, I can just delete all of these now because I don't need them anymore. I think I'm going to keep my Pokemons in here because I'm pretty far on them and I don't want to have to start completely over a heart and gold and soul silver. But uh, everything else I could just put in that folder now and I can run all my DS's, I'm sorry, my DS games at full speed. So I hope you guys like the video. Uh, like, subscribe, it's your first time here. Um, and also leave a comment to let me know if you have any thoughts or any more questions. Leave them in the comment below and then I always respond. Okay? This is a little AM, and I will see you the next video. Thank you guys. Bye. Pretty face car on ten. Body right down, look in. My tight total spin that thing. I like what I like. 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 Ask him what he like about. Like me, let him smack it, got him feeling it.